So unfortunately, this is a bleak day for equity, diversity, and inclusion. Let them die. Well, I think uh, that this is tantamount to sticking a dagger in our back. Because what they have said is that it is unconstitutional to even consider race. And I think it is unimaginable not to consider race. What the f***? As usual, these are standards they never want applied to themselves. Okay, how about we consider the race of black students, but exactly how you were considering the races of Asian and white students as a detriment. Oh, that would be completely different, right? It's not just that the radical conservative Supreme Court is undoing decades of advancements in women's rights and civil rights. It certainly wasn't good for the civil rights of Asians or white people who were being racially discriminated against by the colleges. Oh, that was different. A lot of people worrying about Things like Jim Crow. Could somebody decide that they want black folks to come in the back door because they don't want them in their store? Can she turn away, let's say, if a, a biracial couple comes in or an interracial couple comes in, right? No. Absolutely not, because a restaurant is not speech. And Lori Smith herself is not refusing services to people on the basis of their class. If a same-sex couple said, and came and said, we want a website about selling our house, or we want a website advertising our, our business or something, she's absolutely happy to do that. So it's, this is not because of their class. Similarly, if a heterosexual couple said, and we want it said, we want a website celebrating some aspect of, of any anything that she disagrees with, She's not willing to take that. So it doesn't have to do with the, the person. It has to do with the message. No shit. Still feels like a gut punch. That's the kind of language I'm hearing from students that I've been talking to this morning, that they're devastated, they're distressed. Certainly the vast majority of students are just worried that Harvard is going to look a bit more like it did many decades ago. Uh, there's a bit of a kind of a grieving right now. And, and what are we going to do now is the major question. Oh my God, what are we going to do? There might be more Asian and white people at this school. Maybe even white men, straight white men. Oh my God, whatever will we do? <laughs> We have to grieve. <laughs> I don't think we can even overstate the role that race has played in our society as a country. And it also is a very big part of one's identity. Part of the college admissions process is the practice of a student, a potential applicant, detailing why they believe their identity and being ought to be an additive addition to a particular school. Which is literally just assigning value and yes, supremacy to some skin colors over others. Retired admirals, a group of them, and generals also told the court that quote diversity in the halls of academia directly affects performance in the theaters of war yeah you're gonna have a hard time recruiting when your idea of diversity is an army of far-left ethno marxists who hate white people four white men one white woman and justice clarence thomas ruled that affirmative action programs unavoidably employ race in a negative manner and involve racial stereotyping violating the equal protection clause of the constitution yeah all those things are bad right <laughs> right now try to wrap your head around that i'm sorry what's to wrap your head around in the united states it's illegal for the government and now for colleges to discriminate on the basis of race isn't that something that you want oh i'm sorry you still want to be able to do that but just to groups that you don't like what they're claiming is that Programs designed to counteract racism by increasing racial diversity are in fact racist. Check out the big brain on bread. If the constitution and the law give equal protection against racial discrimination, you can't justify discriminating against white and Asian people just because you don't like them. All right, folks, that's all I can stomach in one sitting. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share, subscribe, hit that like button, and make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations. Thanks a lot for watching.